We had, I got the letter in the mail. We, we briefly mentioned it earlier on in the show, but the uh, the tax appraisal- The tax man's coming. Letter came for, I'm going to say most everybody this past week or so. Right. Um, and I feel like I cannot argue it. And I always argue it. This is, and this I think is new a lot of coming people, from you. It is. I love arguing. You must be really uncomfortable having to agree. It with feels that. very weird. Um, but I also have seen several news reports, and we've had these conversations with people in the past, where they're basically being taxed out of where they live. Yep. right? And so knowing that this is a market where house prices have just increased just an unbelievable amount over the past few months really over the last six months or so right yeah what can people do can the people do anything about this or is it do they just have to suck it up okay and just pay it because it just it feels like there should be something for some people to do especially coming out of the season that we're in with covid yep. and job loss and all of this other i'm gonna stuff. i'm gonna give the brutally honest answer and i know you guys get a lot of feedback apparently uh about the european football minute but right. I, the, the, some of the most positive feedback i get about the about this show is that we are brutally honest with our friends, our neighbors, and our listeners. Like, you know, there's no agenda here. Uh, there's we're not hiding the fact that we would love to earn your business if you're buying or selling a home, but not everybody's the right client for us. So we're not here to just attract everyone we can to be our best friends. We're here to tell you the truth, sometimes whether you like it or not. And so here's the answer to that question: What can you do about tax valuations? Whether you like it or not, in the short term. There is nothing you can do about it. In okay. the short term, you could go protest your valuation, but almost no one, and I'm saying this out of my opinion, my professional opinion, almost no one is going to win a property valuation protest this year based on the value of your home. Well, especially because if your house is a homestead, it can yeah, only go yeah. up a maximum what? of 10%, right? right? Whereas we all know home valuations and prices has gone up way more than that 10%. That's right. where the difficulty and trick is coming in. Yeah. And, and the value can go up more than 10%, but you there you the can only amount. you can only you are only required to pay up to 10% more than you paid the previous year. Right. That their assessment of your market value can go up as much as they want, but they can only increase the amount you have to pay on 10% per year. Now, they are the tax assessor. They are your county appraisal district, your tax assessor. Depending on where you live in Texas, that could be a little bit different. And of course, we're only talking about the way it works in Texas. Now, I just said, in the short term, there's nothing else you can do about that. Now, clearly you could go protest it. That is something you could do. But the reason I'm saying it the way I'm saying it is because I don't think anybody's gonna win those assessments unless you're in a really unique situation where your area due to something really rare is actually losing property value. But that's not true for almost anyone in this marketplace. So generally speaking, I don't believe that those appraisal protests are going to be successful for almost anyone. Now, in the long term, and we are not a political show, but it's important to say this, in the long term, just about the only thing you could do about this is vote, right? You could vote for a candidate or a party or a policy that recognizes that we're writing our state government a blank check by saying you have complete control to increase our property values and continue to tax us at what many of us believe are runaway ridiculous tax rates. And so it's virtually a blank check, right? If, if people are paying two and a half to 3% of their property value in taxes every year, to the state, the school district, the county, and all those things. Um, and then many people go and vote to approve these bonds to pay incrementally more taxes. But it's always for a good reason in, on the surface. It's for the schools. It's for neighborhood beautification. It's for roads. Well, depending on where you land politically, some of us believe that the money is there. We've just got to spend it with more wisdom, right? I did see the... It's so obviously right now 10% max if you have the homestead um, on what you're going to pay. If the, you don't have that homestead, then the cap increase uh, doesn't, you know, there is no cap, right? Right. <clears throat> I did see that there is a, um, a proposal 
to have a 5% increase yeah. if you have a homestead and a max of 10% if you do not have that homestead. So it'd be right. interesting to see if that's going to get pushed through. Yeah, we've had governors and lieutenant governors campaigning for years now saying we are going to reduce the tax rate. I just don't believe that's ever going to happen. I wish I could believe that, uh, but I've just, I, I can't remember the last time I saw, uh, you know, politicians, you know, re reach a far and away consensus that uh, once they had captured some tax revenue, they were going to give any of it back. Now, there, there have been some changes federally to the income tax laws recently, and it would appear that there's going to be more <laughs> very, very soon. But the short answer is in the short term, I don't think there's anything going to change it. In the long term, the only way we change this is by voting. But you got to have enough candidates that will actually follow through on that. And that's been really discouraging for a long time here in the state of Texas.